Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to use the schematic system for Tolkien Tweaks to create your own schematics. Uh, this is a system that allows map makers and server owners to set up a plot system that allows players to buy houses and or pretty much any kind of structure they like. So I'll set up a uh, example plot here. This is what it would potentially look like on a server and this is the key to the plot this would be sold by an NPC or given to the player somehow and when the player right clicks this block with the key it creates the building and this also copies tile entities and tile entity data so we have a look in here there's armor stands, a dislocator and a chest and key data, all that's copied over so, now to show you how to create this yourself. The first thing you need to do is create a schematic of the structure you wish to copy and spawn into the world. This here is just the same house that I spawned over there except I moved it off the ground so that you can see around it properly and create a proper schematic. First thing you're going to need to create the schematic is the schematic tool. This works a lot like World Edit. Uh, you just right click one corner of the structure. I'm just going to build up a little bit here so I can. And left click the other corner. And while you're holding the tool, you can see the area that you have selected. Now, to actually turn it into a schematic, you just run the following command TTSCH, which is short for TT Schematic, in Tolkien Tweaks. Uh, create, and give it a name. We'll call this. Large house north. And now that's saved. If I want to see all the schematics I have saved, I just run this command tt schematic list. And you can see how the schematics saved are one I just saved. And test is the one I used for the demonstration over there. Now, next we need the structure builder and we just place that down where your plot is going to be best place for it, it can go anywhere but on the entrance path is a good idea and to bind this schematic to this block use another command while looking at the block you need to run ttsch block set and then the name of the schematic and now that schematic is bound to this block and you can bind it to as many blocks as you want it doesn't actually do anything to the schematic and now you might want to be able to adjust where the block actually places the house so in order to first of all see where it's going to place it run the following command while well, looking at the block of course uh, toggle view and now this is where it is going to place the schematic, but I don't want it there. So to move it, just simply shift right click the side that you wish it that you want to move. And I'm just going to line it up with what is going to be the path. And now this schematic also includes one layer of dirt and the down one. And now that's lined up how I want it, so I can turn off the view. And almost ready. Now all you need is the key, an unbound key. Simply right click that on the block. Okay, so for some reason that key didn't work, I just grabbed a new one. Simply right click the block. And now the key is bound to this block. And well, that's about it. As soon as you click on the block again with this key, there's your house. Highlight this and everything. All the data is all copied over. And uh, when you create a schematic, if you want to access that, it is saved in the mods folder in a folder called Tolkien Tweaks. It is saved as whatever name you gave it. Dot schematic. There's just a couple other commands that you might like to use. 
Um, if you want to remove a schematic, use TTSCH, delete, and the schematic name. So I'll just delete that test schematic. And that's gone. If I try to delete it again, it does not exist. I can also paste the schematic into the world at my current position using, you guessed it, paste and the name is schematic and there it is. Now if you want to be able to have a house pointing in another direction, so say you want it pointing this way, there isn't any way to rotate schematics yet. I may add that in the future, but for now you'll just have to create for now you just have to create multiple schematics and use whichever one you need for the direction you're using. And I think that's about it. Thanks for watching.